Okay, okay cool. I'll could go one on one. Yeah. Could you tell about uh, your reaction? Uh, there were protesters arrested during the CIA nomination hearing. Were you following that brutally? Yeah. Them as, uh, old like, yeah. Well, this is this is what's hap This is what's happening all across the country right now. Is we're seeing you know protesters in numerous places all across the country, from California to New York to North Carolina, where they're facing charges and they're facing you know felony counts often and getting brutal and being brutalized by the police. You know, kettling was is what happened is one of the things that that, that we've been seeing and you know for protesters where you have a mass group of people like uh, this is what happened during J20. But we've also been seeing people being you know individuals being manhandled by the police, and this is not new, but it's certainly becoming more aggressive and more assertive, and we need to, to, to put a stop to this. What do you think about the domination uh, of Julian Hustle? Next person. Um, so you're running for Senate, and then you're out here defending sort of uh, street activists, and then of course you engage in a type of activism Hello. that got you in trouble. Can you talk about the value of sort of a diversity of tactics of confronting the issues of the state? Absolutely. So, obviously I'm running, I'm running for Senate, however, I'm really an activist. I'm not a politician. I'm an activist. And it's acts of activism and doing things with your own individual political agency, not necessarily always, you know, you, you don't have to wait until, you know, you're in a, in, a, in a voting booth to be able to act with political agency. You can do things on your own time and it, with your own power. We all have power, and that's why I'm, I always stand in solidarity with, with protesters who actually, you know, try to make a difference in their own way because that's where the real power is it's not in the it's not in a ballot it's in uh our own political agency every day Chelsea, does it make difference uh, who is president of the united states the interest group that do the same thing what's your take on it i mean we live in a two part you know the united states is a two-party system that two-party system favors the incumbency of a class of you know, of, of one political class, and yeah. we've continually seen that the, that these yeah. systemic problems never get addressed. They get glossed over. You know, we, we move from one administration to another, but the actual problems don't get addressed. What, have, what, what keeps changing every single time is that we go from one particular uh, flavor of uh, oppressive government to another flavor of oppressive government. So uh, I'm, I'm always very skeptical of being, you know, uh, of, of seeing a difference between, uh, you know, a Democrat or a Republican or any other political party because it's about the incumbency of the overarching system that we live in. Next. Can you tell us uh, what it is about the predicament of the J20 pro protesters in particular that drew you to the case? Uh, I mean, they're my friends. I mean, I live. I mean, I live in Maryland. So these people, these are people that I that I know. They're they're people that I care about. And any action that a person does as an individual to fight back against, you know, to 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 show that you have a voice, I stand in solidarity with them because this is how we will make a difference. This is how we will fight back. And you know, facing charges and and facing the state. For any of these political acts, we need to, as 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 a as people, stand together in solidarity with the, with these people. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm so like. It's one of the reasons why I've been for so much for uh, dealing with the uh, support for prisoners. I mean, prisoner support is a very important way in which we cannot, you know, because we can't forget. We can't we can't have people go out and protest and then go to jail and have them be left behind. They're still a part of a political movement. Thank you. Any two more questions? What do you have on your agenda to defend whistleblowers? Uh, I have I have a campaign uh, on my campaign website. I have li written legislation that would uh, that would address that while I was in prison in 2015. What is one of the signatures that you wanted to hypothetically? What is your what is your agenda? What is your legislative agenda? Top notch. Top notch. Abolish ICE. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.